Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. As you guys can see on the screen, we're on some Warzone today. And honestly, I don't even know why I booted up the game. I just booted it up and I think I'm just going to play a couple games and see how it goes. And honestly, I don't even know if this is going to end up being a video on the channel. But if it is, if you could drop me an early like on today's video, I'd really appreciate that, man. YouTube has definitely been slow for pretty much every COD creator at this point. And, uh, you know, whenever you guys show love on the videos, it definitely helps out with the YouTube algorithm. But something I have been seeing on the channel recently that's just super weird to me is I see people comment saying like, if you don't play more warzone solos i'm gonna unsubscribe or like people will say like stop playing older call of duty games nobody wants to see that everybody's gonna unsubscribe to your channel and stuff like that and whenever i see comments like that i just instantly hide the user from channel because if you guys didn't know whenever you hide a user from the channel or you see a comment you don't like you could just use hide a user from the channel and they can comment and help out the videos and everything but nobody but them ever sees the comment and i think that's such a funny concept i love it i wish uh you know other platforms actually had that as well because at the end of the day nobody sees their comment but themselves and then on top of that it helps out with the youtube algorithm because they commented on the video and i'm not letting those type of people get to me at all i just think it's super funny that people think that their opinion on stuff like that is actually the right opinion when they've never done anything when it comes to content creation some people have a little bit of an understanding of content creation but a lot of people just don't and they want to put their two cents in on something and they have absolutely no idea idea what they're talking about and it just sounds straight up so ignorant i mean i'm sure there's somebody watching this video right now that thinks i make millions of dollars a year making youtube videos and that's just that's definitely not the case but a good majority of you guys are, are cool as hell and you guys have been rock with me a long time you understand where i'm coming from for the most part because sometimes i am pretty damn stupid but i'm mainly just talking about people that are i guess more along the lines of, of new around here and they're just they just don't know what they're talking about oh there's a guy just vibing there. He was just vibing. I was not expecting him to be... Okay, I might die here. It's the guy across. Actually, there... Oh, he's... Wait, he actually landed on it. Wait, where'd he... I think he landed in, did he not? And this guy's over here. Come on, watch this. Watch that. Nope. Oh, I overshot it or overthrew it. You no. You thought. And he's stuck. Stay alert. Not gonna get me. Pussy. <laughs> oh, there he is right here. <laughs> I figured I was gonna hop on today and just have a horrible time and have absolutely no fun, but so far it really hasn't been that bad. Oh. Oh, hey, damn. Nice dodging skills, brother. Oh. Uh uh, I'm dead. I'm dead here, dude. Oh, I, I fucked up. Highly unlikely I'm making it out here, but we'll see how it goes. Nope. Got him. Whew. See, if we weren't able to actually buy our loadout, I wouldn't have had a loadout there. And shit like this just makes me lose full, bro. Like, the new map just has so many rocks, so many hills, so many things that just causes me to just flip my vehicle and get in situations I don't want to be in. I used to not be half bad at driving over dance. At first, I was downright horrible. But after a while, I was not that bad. But man, on Caldera, I'm a whole nother level of terrible when it comes to driving. Oh, they actually scooped it. They got it on me what it was full health it was full health 
My vehicle was full health. I'm so confused, dude. Let's play another one and see how it goes. But back to what I was saying before I decided to actually just go full blown and just like worry about the game. <laughs> just not care about what I was saying at the beginning. The majority of you guys that watch the videos are cool. You understand where I'm coming from. And, uh, you know, you understand what's going on with Call of Duty right now. But the weirdos that say the stuff that I was talking about at the beginning of this video is just like, I can't understand the mindset. The mindset is just so far gone. It's like they think they have more of an idea of what I should do with my channel than I do even though I've been doing it for close to six years now. But I guarantee you, if they even tried to remotely make content, they wouldn't even know where to start. Because there's so many different things that goes into making YouTube content that people just don't understand. Obviously, in the first place, you have to make good, unique, and like, not necessarily niche content, but the content I make is niche. So it appeals to a certain audience, and there's not an influx of that type of content being posted on YouTube. So that's a great thing to start with. So for any of you guys that do want to actually start making content, Think about something niche, something that's not being done right now and something that you guys can do effectively, efficiently, and have a lot of fun with. Once you get the content thing down, then you have to figure out how to edit. And a lot of people have absolutely no idea at all how to edit. I personally use Sony Vegas to edit all my videos. I know a lot of people use Premiere or hell, some people still use iMovie. But then once you made your content and then you edit it, you have it all edited, good to go. You got your video ready to post. What do you do from there? You have to upload it onto a platform, whether it's YouTube, whether it's facebook whatever platform it is right fuck you dude fuck you man and he's still doing it bro me bro but let me try to go ahead and win this gulag here and then we'll get back on topic of what we were talking about <laughs> is there anything we can actually go for? okay scavenger all the way over here 18 1700 meters away let's go for it but yeah once you have the platform you're going to be uploading your youtube video on then you have to actually make a thumbnail for your video pretty much an image that's enticing people to actually click on your video and something that's different than other people or you know in some cases when it comes to warzone especially back on verdance people were making the same thumbnail that other people were with that little you know little price tag thingy at the top the little red tag everybody was having like the same thumbnail and all the thumbnails looked the same so people were actually clicking on their videos thinking it was a creator that they watch which i'm not saying that's a horrible thing to do especially if you're a small creator but as a big content creator that it doesn't make sense to do that because you you need to have your own style your own thing that you do that has other people coming back to watch your content and when you're copying other content creators and doing the stuff that they do trying to get successful from it it's not really making a name for yourself so yeah so far the process is to create interesting unique and uh you know watchable content right then you have to edit your content then you have to pick a platform you want to post your content on and then you have to make a thumbnail that attracts people to watch your content but after all of that you then have to learn how to tag your videos which is called seoing your videos learning the search engine you know and, and once you learn the search engine as i completely did the exact thing i did in the first game all over again and oh shit now that i'm thinking about it i didn't say anything about any steps of actually figuring out what your borderline clickbait title is because at the end of the day if i'm being completely truthful with you guys you do have to clickbait to a certain extent but you don't want to do it to where it's just straight up clickbait where the video doesn't pertain to that at all if it's too clickbait you're going to get a lot of hate for it and then on top of that people aren't going to click on the videos going forward you're not going to have any real true supporters but if you know what you're doing and you're a good content creator you know how to clickbait within moderation and i don't know why i've just sat here and pretty much described everything on YouTube to you guys. Then again, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you guys that watch my videos that are interested in making content and just what you have to do in order to be a content creator. And that's just pretty much a, uh, a simple rundown to it. There's a lot of other things that go into it, like games that you play and you, you obviously can't play a dead game. I mean, it's not gonna get you any traction. There we go, he's stuck. Dude, I should have died there. C4's really bro really that's how i died there oh man i just I, I don't know what to say this is a typical day of warzone for me man it really is i deal with all of this shit just to maybe get lucky for one game to be able to upload that for you guys on youtube that's also something i've been dealing with lately is just like 
how long it actually takes me to make a video, especially back when I was posting Warzone consistently all the time, even at the beginning of Warzone, man, sometimes it was taking me eight to 12 hours to get one video done for you guys. And that was without using a VPN. And it's just at that point, not worth it to me. I'm sorry if you don't respect me for using a VPN. It is what it is, but that has significantly reduced stress in my life since I started using it. And I'm not out here saying I'm the best Warzone player known to mankind, the best knifer has ever existed on planet Earth. I've never once said that. And you guys know that more than anything. I've never claimed to be the best at anything if anything i'm always shitting on myself because of how bad i actually am at the game ever since i started youtube and everything i never claimed to be the best knifer people just put me on that pedestal i'm just here to make fun good content for you guys to sit back relax enjoy you know whether you're at work whether you're taking a shit whatever it is to sit back have a good laugh i'm definitely not here to be the best player with a knife known to mankind because i'm far from that there's so many people that actually knife on an everyday basis on warzone or on multiplayer that are 100 times better than me and i've said that multiple times but if i can do something that can significantly reduce stress in my life i'm going to do it and that's what a vpn has done for me and that's why i've used it for the past i don't know like six eight months on warzone and i really don't know where to go with this circle i think i'm just going to to go over here and, and hope for the best but back to what i was saying before about um you know content creation and everything i'm sure there's a lot of you guys that actually want to create content and you just don't know where to start or what to do and hopefully that kind of steers you guys in the right direction of uh you know understanding what content creation is about the steps that you have to do in order to do it and, and hopefully you guys find something that you enjoy something that makes you unique something that makes you different than other people and you're successful from it man i'm not i'm the first person that ever did knifing but there was definitely a uh you know a gap there whenever i started knifing the people that didn't know about people that only knifed on call of duty i'm not the first person that ever ever knifed on a cod game you know only use me blade only use knife all those people from back in the day were the first people that actually knifed on call of duty uh, i didn't even know they were a thing until my friend hershey told me about knifing and then told me about people on youtube and stuff like that because i honestly back in the day I, I never watched youtube and especially for cod content i didn't watch cod content on youtube till probably probably black ops 2 to ghosts and black ops 1 was my first call of duty game that was actually my first ever online video game period and that's when i found the homie hershey in a search and destroy match and he told me about knifing and all that type of stuff and, and it really opened my eyes because back then i was a sweat like through and through a try hard sweat famas dual mag famas red dot like all that type of stuff like i was a try hard back on bo1 and i didn't even look at the secondaries for the ballistic knife or anything like that i didn't care about it i just wanted to sweat with my gun and and that's all i wanted to do He's stuck. I'm supposed to sit there and watch him panic and freak out. He has no idea what to do. <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. But yeah, that's how I started knifing. That's literally content creation 101. That's how you, you make content. That's how it gets posted. All that type of stuff. There's so many other things that go into content creation that it, it would take me a, a long time to actually go over and, and talk about. But for you guys that knew absolutely nothing about content creation, that should uh, give you a little bit of a decent understanding about it. And I do everything on my own. There's a lot of content creators around my size that have um oh whoops i didn't mean to get out there that have editors that have thumbnail artists and stuff like that i've had thumbnail artists from time to time but for the most part 99 to 98 percent of the stuff that you guys see on my channel was all me i made all of the content and not many content creators can actually say that yes sir you are executed there's another one down here lower. I don't know exactly where he is. So it does make me a little nervous. Is that him? No, it's not. He's down here lower. So, oh, he's actually coming towards it. It's got to heal up here. He actually popped me a couple of good times. No, I choked. I'm surprised I made it out of that situation, bro. That was close. UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. Oh, Black Rose skin corner camping, dude. UAV active. UAV is out of okay.
Oh, whoa. Dude. He weak as <laughs> He like, you weak as hell. <laughs> I don't think... Did we get the cash from over here? No, we didn't. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Just toss it on the ground. Nope. No shit. Damn. Got him. Oh my god. Really? You caught it from down here. Oh. He's stuck. You're dead again, bro. I think I killed you twice. Nope. He's stuck. Oh my. That guy had no health. Oh, uh, what, dude? From where? And that's how it ends by Molly's, dude. Yeah, I'm I'm off for the day, dude. Not time to.